Hi guys, today's video is going to be a drugstore haul that I bought quite a few months ago now and has just been sitting in this box on the floor in my room waiting to be filmed but I kept getting other things that I'd be like oh maybe I should film this first, maybe I should film this first. So today I was like what am I going to film and I thought let's do this. It's been waiting patiently for such a long time and I've just been ignoring it and I'm actually really excited about these products so I don't know why I was like putting it off for so long. I think there were like things that i had prioritized because I thought they were more like you know time sensitive but anyway let's do this now this is all stuff that I bought from chemist warehouse like I said before months ago I only have two brands in this box and one is flower beauty and the other is glam by manicure I just wanted to test out some new products of flower beauty and try some things that I've never tried before from glam by manicure there's also an old favorite in this box that I've just bought in a new shade because they offered a new shade so I was really excited about that but anyway let's stop like explaining what I've got and let's actually go through it <laughs> so first up I've already done my base and my brows I just haven't put on powder yet because I got a cream blush that I wanted to chuck on first so this is the flower beauty gel crush lip and cheek in the shade Strawberry Crush. So according to the website, this product is an ultra portable do-it-all stick that gives cheeks a perfect pinch of color and leaves lips with a flushed tint. The unique gel texture features sheer pigments that glide onto the skin in one refreshing stroke and gives it a surge of moisture that lasts all day. A multitasking dewy finish with a mixed berry scent blends softly and beautifully for an instant burst of hydrating color. So I use my fingers to apply this because that is what the website said to do. I was actually going to use a brush because the website said that that's probably the best way to apply it so that's why i applied it with my fingers i will say it is a very 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 sheer formula but it did seem to build up a little the more that i put on i don't know how far you could take this though like how much it would build up so if you like a really intense blush this product may not be for you because it is very 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 subtle but it's nice and it's definitely very dewy and it looks, I would say it looks like such a good natural sort of flush. Like I feel like it looks very natural, but I look so dewy. I'm not used to looking this dewy. I chucked it on my lips just for kicks, even though I have another lip product to try later. And it didn't really give me a lot of pigment and I did quite a few layers there. I feel like maybe it's added a tiny bit more pink to my lips, but it just really hasn't added a ton of pigment, which I suppose like that's what it is. It's kind of like a slight tint, but it does feel very comfortable, a little bit slippy, not tacky at all. It feels like light and like hydrating on my lips, which is really nice. And it does like, as it said, it has a mixed berry scent and I can definitely smell that. It's not very strong. It's very subtle. Like it's a very subtle smell, but it does, it smells like berries, which is really nice. So far, so good. I feel like this is something that I like to wear on like a, a natural sort of day where I'm just like, you know, feeling like I want to be really dewy <laughs> because it's amazing at making my face look incredibly dewy. <laughs> but anyway, guys, let's move on to the next product, which is going to be another blush. <laughs> but this time... It is going to be a powder blush and this is my old favorite. So I have three of these already. I'm really disappointed because I actually had two on the Chemist Warehouse website, but one of them was like unavailable online and I couldn't get any of the stores that were close to me. I think it's like, there are probably like a few in stock and it's all at one store, but I just don't know where. It's not near me anyway. But this one is the Flower Beauty Flower Pots Powder Blush in the shade Berry More. So this, as I said before, is the fourth one I have of these and they are some of my favorite blushes in the world. They're just so beautiful. They're so pigmented. They have beautiful colors. My favorite one ever is Sweet Pea and that's because it's like my perfect nude sort of blush. So it's the blush that I'd reach for like every day if I use one of these blushes it's pretty much the one that I use but I saw this and I was like oh my god what a stunning berry shade and I had to buy it so I did so to pop it on I actually used my flower beauty blush brush which is like absolutely like the perfect brush for these flower pots blushes it blended out really quite well considering as soon as i put this on my face and tried to move it i realized how like tacky that gel blush was so i feel like this may have been too deep a shade for me to go in on top of the gel blush or well, not really like it's it's fine like it works for me but 
I think it's working for me. I hope it's working for me. But I just think because I already put that gel blush down, it just instantly like stuck to the powder and it was a bit, it made it a bit more difficult than usual for me to blend. Like in the experience of using these shades before, they are very, very, very blendable. So I was kind of like, oops, <laughs> it was like glue. But I, I did manage to get the product around a little bit, but I think it might be a little bit stronger on this side of my face than this side. But We'll just leave it like that today. I freaking love these blushes. Like, sorry, I can't. The sticky thing's still stuck to the back, so I'm like, look at it. It's like magic. <laughs> these blushes, honestly, are freaking amazing. I hope the other one comes back in stock. The, the it was a peach color. I hope the peach one comes back in stock, and I can buy that too. And if any more shades come back in, I will be buying them all because I just I freaking have to have them all. I love them all, and. Thank you for inventing this flower beauty because it's just a freaking stunning blush. Also, these their, their brushes are some of the some of my favorite brushes as well. Like I have, I think I have every single single brush that you can buy from them, and I have their sponge as well. But I don't use sponges very often, so I hardly ever use that sponge. But it is a good sponge when I do use sponges. I do reach for that sponge when I do use sponges. I just don't very often reach for sponges, which I should really reach for them all because they like do apply makeup so well. Anyway, 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 anyway. Okay guys, so I just chucked on some bronzer, powder, highlighter, very faintly, because I'm already so dewy, I didn't want to add too much. And I also chucked on an eye primer because I'm gonna do eyes now. So I got two eye products from Flower Beauty that I'm going to be using today. The first one I'm going to use is the Flower Beauty Shadow Quad in Petal Play, which comes with these four very stunning, neutral, sort of brown, goldy, bronzy eyeshadows. It's just a really, good basic natural palette if you ask me which is usually what I often reach for when I'm purchasing palettes especially like to try the new ones I always reach for nudes because I'm going to use them more often than I would like brighter palettes I buy things that I think that I'll reach for if that makes sense but I probably don't need this because I already have like a million browns golds and bronzes but anyway let's give this a go and see what we get today so first off i'm gonna take a fluffy shader brush and pop into this bottom shade here Ooh. okay i'm not sure if you can see that but that's a lot of like kickback in there so let's see if i get a lot of fallout just chucking this all over my lid and through my crease too going in a bit more gently this time Okay, now I'm just going to take a pencil shader brush and just run that shade on my lower lash line, that same shade, just a bit messily. Okay, now I'm going to take this other product that I bought, which is the Flower Beauty Watercolor Eye Tint in the shade Sienna Wash, which is absolutely freaking gorgeous. I'm intrigued to see how it goes over powder. I'm not sure if I should have popped this on first, but anyway, we'll see. I'm going to do one eye at a time. Just taking a flat shader brush to blend this on my lid. I'm not sure if it's still drying. It feels quite cooling, which is interesting. It's a little tacky too, but I think that's really pretty. It's very like natural looking. I like it. I like it a lot. I'm just kind of chucking this all over my lid. When I put it on, I mainly pop it in the middle and then I kind of blend it into my inner corner and like take it back around to my outer corner too. I am liking this though. That's actually stunning. Like I know it's really like light, but I really like it. I think that's really nice. I feel like it works really well over the powder too. I might just chuck on a second layer just to see how it looks, if it actually builds up okay. Okay, yeah, I definitely feel like it builds up okay. I feel like it looks a bit more intense, just a little bit more intense on this side than it does on this side, but I didn't put a ton on for my second layer. Like, I, I did a smaller second layer because I wasn't sure how it would blend. Okay, I'm going to leave that there. I think that's just really nice. I really like it. I feel like it's a very like natural sort of looking eyeshadow product because obviously it's like a tint. What's it? A watercolor eye tint. So it's not going to be like super pigmented or anything, but I think it's stunning. 
and I like the color that I got it into. It's like a nice coppery brown. I feel like this is like a good sort of like dewy, like a natural everyday sort of eyeshadow if you like a, a dewy sort of looking lid. It's not like dewy dewy, it's kind of like shiny. Like, I really like it. I think that's really nice. Okay, I'm gonna jump back into the palette now. I'm just gonna take a, another flat shader brush and pop into this shade here. Just to pop this in my inner corners and bring it up a little bit onto the lid just to blend it in there. And I'm also gonna pop this on my brow bones. Just gently, just to add a little flare. Just for the sake of using all the eyeshadows as well, I'm just gonna go into this golden shade here and dab this in the middle of my lid. Just to give it a little something reflective there. Not sure if I'm gonna have to take that all over now. I feel like the watercolor tint could be really good as like a sort of like colored eye primer too because I feel like it's sticky especially with the glitters I feel like they kind of like stick into it quite well okay I've kind of blended that a little bit out over my lid anyway I just wanted to use all colors of course now I'm gonna pop into this deep shade with a very very small pencil brush and I'm gonna run this along my lower lash line I'm gonna take it all the way just because I feel like it oh was that out. no freckles freckles not all out <laughs> i'm gonna take it all the way but just very tightly against my waterline especially towards the inner corner so i'm making it a bit wider at the outer corner just so it's like a bit smokier there we go looking good and i'm also going to use this on the lid as like a liner I'm gonna take it all the way across but again very 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 tightly like almost on my tight line God, there's a bird in it like he's stabbing me in the eye okay and I'm gonna do a tiny tiny little flick just up at the end there I'm going to join it to the bottom and the top lash line as well. So like down and here. Kind of like a little baby flick. Which is what I usually do with my eyeliner. Liquid eyeliner. But I'm not chucking on liquid eyeliner today. Because I'm testing out something else. Okay guys. I am loving these eyeshadows. I feel like they blended out super well. They build up well as well. Like, especially with the first color that I put on, the sort of like light browny color. I feel like that blended out super well and built up well. The dark deep brown I used to do, to do my wing worked so well. I don't think I have any fallout from any of these shades, which is freaking great. And I love these little baby wings that I was able to make them like actually really well. Like I often struggle doing like shadow liner. And I feel like it was really good, especially this little brush. But yes, I would definitely use both of these products again and I would use them together as well. I think they worked really well together. I absolutely love this color and I love it mixed with this palette. Oh my gosh, this is why I love Flower Beauty. This is why I always like whenever I see new products of theirs come in at Chemist Warehouse, I'm like, oh, I have to try that. I almost bought another foundation from them, but I just have so many foundations and I just don't go through them very fast. So I'm like, unless I really, really, really want to try one, I'm not buying it at the moment just because I'm like, I need to restrain myself because otherwise all my makeup's going to go off and I'm just going to waste it. So I'm like, I'm trying to finish products especially with foundations because they just take so long for me to go through and I think they do go bad. Whereas with eyeshadows, like I know all makeup has like use by dates or like best before dates on them and stuff or like you're only supposed to have it open for like 12 months or whatever. But I feel like with eyeshadows and blushes and stuff, I feel like they last, especially when they're like powder. I feel like that lasts. At least to me, I don't mind putting it on my face if it's been open for three years instead of two. But anyway, guys, let's move on to the next product that I got. The next two products go together, and they are the Glam Pro by Manicure Magnetizing Eyeliner in the shade Black, and the Glam Pro by Manicure Magnetic Lashes in 65 Chloe. These are some of their intense lashes, so that's why I didn't want to do like a normal liquid eyeliner, because I wanted to see how these lashes looked without it, but I realized this, now that I'm thinking about it, this eyeliner pen is a liquid eyeliner pack. 
so we'll be using this let's give this a crack because i've got my mirror here and my desk is here and not on this side i'm just going to do one eye on camera and then i will do the other eye off camera but i'm going to do one eye at a time anyway because i don't understand if this dries and the magnets stop working or something anyway oh my gosh so nerve-wracking i don't know how thick i'm supposed to make this Okay, let's see how we go with that. I'm worried it's too thin, especially towards the front, because this band looks pretty thick. Maybe I'll make it a little bit thicker in my inner corner. Let's see if that works. Okay. Oh my gosh, I should really read these instructions. You know what I didn't do first? Try on the lashes. Whoops. One to two coats of eyeliner along the natural line and allow to dry. <laughs> Did I do two proper coats? I don't know. I feel like I did two on the inside. You know what I realized just then that I haven't done as well? I haven't waterlined and tight lined. But anyway, we'll do that after hopefully, if we get the chance. What I like about these eyelashes is that they tell you which side is which, which is really helpful to me because I get confused very easily. Oh, okay. Here was me thinking they came on really thick bands, but they've just got like a little magnetic strip that's attached to the plastic that you remove it from. Boom, so it actually has a very thin band. And there's like magnets on it. There are like three magnets on these eyelashes. One on the outer corner in the middle and in the inner corner. Which is pretty freaking insane. It's so light too. And they feel really soft. Like I feel like these are really nice lashes. Have I done them too far out? I'm not sure what I've done. I don't think I've done them right. Oh, okay. Oh, is that? Oh. <laughs> Right? I'm not quite sure if I've got this right. I'm like, what am I doing? How am I doing this wrong? Okay, I feel like it keeps like popping off. Should I have read the instructions more? Okay, I think that might be a bit better. Not too horrible. I feel like that's worked reasonably well. Oh no, did I get freaking eyeliner? Somehow I got under my eye. Oh well. I'm not sure what I'm doing. I think this is right. I, I, or maybe it's not because it keeps popping off. Did I not let it dry enough? Do I have weird shaped eyes? Well, it definitely feels like it's sticking. What does this instruction say? Your index finger and thumb lay down magnetic lashes on top of liner and click. Click. How do you click? Click into place. Oh, okay. I think that's it. How does that look, guys? That looks pretty freaking good to me. I don't know why the clicking worked. I don't know what the clicking was, but I feel like it was me being like manually like being like, okay, here, here, here. And I think that worked really well. I can feel them. They're not like heavy or anything, but I think I'm, what I'm noticing, well, I can see them in my eye. I can see a shadow here now, but I think what I'm noticing is the magnets. Cause I've actually, oh, I have worn magnetic lashes before. Well, I've tried to wear magnetic lashes before, but that was when they first came out like five years ago and you had to get two lashes and like sandwich them over your lashes because they were two strips. They were very expensive and I don't even know if I wore them, but these are like, freaking way better if you ask me because it was really hard to like go like this on your lashes. I feel like I kept putting them like halfway down, but damn. Okay, once I got the clicking technique in hand, this worked so freaking well. I love these so much. Oh my god. Oh my god, look at that. Look at the difference. Okay, I'm gonna do this eye off camera because I'll probably struggle with it and I'll be back. There we have them all done. I'm not gonna lie, this eye took me a little while to get. For some reason it just didn't want to stick so I ended up having to go in quite a few times with this bad boy to get it to stick. I think I was just doing the line a bit too thin and maybe not letting it dry for long enough because then when I try and put the lashes on and they wouldn't stick I'd peel them off and then the line would sort of be gone. I think it was sticking to the lashes rather than sticking to my skin but I think they're on properly now but I think I've gone in now with a bit of a thicker line than I have on this side. So I feel like this side looks better for some reason. This side just isn't working. But I also put on setting spray. I waterline 
lined and tight lined very faintly just with a black eyeliner and I did chuck some mascara on my lower lash line and a tiny bit on my top lash line just to bring the, my natural eyelashes and the false eyelashes together a bit so my eyelashes weren't like stabbing out like this but I really like it I really like these eyelashes I love this side I'm not sure about this side it just doesn't look quite as good for some reason I'm not sure I've obviously done something wrong with this side but I'm just not sure what it's just not working as well on my left eye oh wait I think I've got it a bit better oh just dabbing them a bit what do you think is that better I'm really not sure but anyway I do really like them I think they were quite easy coming from someone who cannot use normal falsies I really like the ease of this product even though it still took me a little bit to get I really like it and I think it's so much easier than using actual false eyelashes because I can never get them right I'm not sure if this side was more difficult for me as well because I'm right-handed and I was having to do, use my left hand to push it on so I'm a bit more clumsy with this but now now I'm looking at it I feel like it looks really good <laughs> the final product that I have to go through with you today is a lip product which is the flower beauty perfect pout moisturizing lipstick in the shade blossom which is this absolutely adorable nudie shade. I thought it was more peachy on the website, but maybe I'm wrong. But anyway, let's chuck this on, shall we? Okay, so this is so damn creamy. It feels pretty much like a lip balm, I'm not gonna lie. But maybe a little bit like thicker, if that makes sense, like the tiniest bit thicker than a lip balm usually feels. So it's like the possibly the creamiest lipstick I've ever put on my lips. I really like it so far. I love this color. I feel like it looks like more movie pink on my lips and more brown, like a nude brown here. But I think this is stunning and it feels really comfortable, which is always lovely. I think there might have been one shade that I wanted more, but it was sold out. So I decided to go for this shade instead. This is my second favorite shade. But I actually really like it on my lips now that I'm looking at it. I'm like, ooh, ooh, ooh. it's a really nice nude. And it feels really creamy. I'm not going to lie. This is not going to be kiss proof at all because it's so creamy. Not kiss proof at all. Which, I mean, we predicted. But I'm loving it. It feels comfortable. It feels really moisturizing, which is what it says it is. I feel like it has a scent, but I could be wrong. It smells sweet. I always think sweet. My brain is like, I feel like sweet is meant to be vanilla, but it smells like chocolate or something. Let me check it out. Splendidly sweet vanilla scent. So it is vanilla. I always doubt myself. But you, to be honest with you, I'm usually wrong with scents. Like, I can almost never get a scent right. But yeah, it is vanilla. Well, I mean, to be honest with you, I was like, it's probably vanilla. But my brain was like, it smells like chocolate to me. Yeah, like it smells like cocoa. Like sweet cocoa, so I guess like vanilla. But like, let's build it out a little bit more. I'm loving this. I love it. Definitely buildable. Like, look at that. Look at this coverage. I really like this color. I feel like it's like kind of like an autumny nude for me i think it's stunning i like how like deep it is like it's deeper than i expected it to be the shade but anyway that is all the products done today guys i honestly loved all of them possibly the thing that i will use the least is this blush purely because i tend to reach for powder blushes more and because it was quite faint I would want to put a bright, another blush on top of it and it was just a bit tacky for that. Like it worked well, so I will I will be using it in the future and it was a good product, like I enjoyed it. But I just think for me, that's probably the thing that I'm gonna be using least. I honestly loved everything though. Like I did love that too. And these eyelashes I am freaking in love with. Like they're so good. I did try out the adhesive liner from Miranese last year I'm not sure which ones I prefer, to be honest with you. I think the magnetic ones, when you can click them into place, I think it would be easier to do. But I'm not sure if the other ones I found easier, just purely because this side on this side wasn't working. But I did notice as well with the other one, I you have to put a thicker amount of eyeliner in the inner corner than I usually use because the, the band wasn't sticking then which I did have that issue on this side too, but they were so easy. They are 100% easier than normal falsies for me. 
and I really like them. I don't always love this sort of eyeliner though. When I was looking for a magnetic liner, I was looking for a pen, like the adhesive one that I have. I just prefer eyeliner pens, but it went on super easily. It was easy for me to use. The only thing is, I will say, it is a very shiny formula, so it's not like matte black at all. If you don't like a shiny formula, which you might be able to see it sort of reflecting. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it, but I can sort of see it at points reflecting through my eyelashes, like just like a little bit of shine on the liner there. So if you don't like that, you might not like this, but you could always like use it and then draw over it with a more matte liner if you wanted to. I'm not gonna do that today because I'm not doing anything. Like it honestly does not bother me that much, to be honest with you. But just in case it bothers you, it is a little bit shiny. That is everything done for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about anything that I did or any of the products that I used, let me know and I will get back to you as soon as possible. And if you would like to like this video or subscribe to my channel, I would really appreciate that too. And hopefully I will see you soon. It is a gel In one refreshing stroke, in one... Res Pulled something in my freaking neck. What's next? Eyelash in my eye. I was sticky tape on it. <laughs>